Blender for Noobs. Hello, this is Dan Nobles, and welcome to Blender for Noobs, and welcome back to part three of the zombie tutorial. As you may remember in the last part of the tutorial, we uh, brought the zombie into Blender and we fixed up the clothes and the face a little bit. And now what we're going to do is work on the actual textures of the zombie. Okay, in order to do that, I'm going to do this in cycles, so make sure that you're up here in the cycles render engine. And I'm going to start with the, uh, well, let's start with the clothes. So I have the shirt selected here. And I'm just going to come over here to materials. And right now it's just using this kind of red material. And I'm going to choose use nodes. And let's go ahead and set up a node window so we can see what we're doing. So use one of your extra windows here. If you don't have an extra window, of course, you can grab one and drag it out. And I'm just going to choose node editor here. And I'm going to hit N to get rid of that menu because I don't need it. And right now this is pretty much what we have. So, and by default, uh, we're going to use that. So we can leave that there. And I'm going to do a Shift A and I'm going to add a texture node. So I'm going to choose Image Texture. Bring this up here. And I'm just going to plug in the color to the color there. And also, just to be correct, I'm going to do a Shift A, and we want an input texture coordinate node. So I'm going to bring this up here, and it's using UV coordinates, so we're just going to plug this in right like that. Okay, so now we need to go find the texture for the shirt. So we're going to do an open. And you want to find the textures folder that it created when you export it out of Make Human. So I'm going to open that up and I want to use the shirt texture PNG right here. So when you do that, you'll see it kind of change to that texture. Okay, so that's all you got to do for the shirt. Uh, pants, pretty much the same thing. I'm going to select the pants, come over to materials, choose use nodes. And just to save yourself some work, what you can, or <laughs> yeah, save yourself some work, you can choose the shirt and come up here. I'm just gonna A, choose A to select all, do a control C to copy, and then choose the pants, come back in here and just hit the delete key on the keyboard, get rid of those nodes, and do a control V to paste. And that'll bring in a copy of what uh, you did for the shirt. And you just need to change the image texture. So we're going to X this out here. Choose Open. Go back into your textures. And we're going to look for the Gene underscore texture PNG. And grab that one. And you'll see it change to Jeans. Okay. And that, well, we can do the shoes also. Grab those there. And it doesn't look like they, oh. We need to use nodes as well there. We can delete on the keyboard, control V to paste what we had before, and change the image, X, open textures, and there is actually a shoe texture in here, I believe. There it is, classic shoes, underscore texture, underscore black. Okay, not a big deal, but if you want to do the shoes as well, Okay, so those are all the clothes. That's all we really need to do with those right now. And so now we need to work on the actual body. So let's select the body. And you'll see a bunch of different materials here. So we need to deal with all of these. So we're going to start with the zombie skin. And same thing, we're going to use nodes. And I'm going to delete this and paste in what we had in our clipboard and X out that image and go find the actual image we need. In this case, we want this Caucasian male young dot PNG or whatever, which one, ever one you chose out of the uh, Make Human. And there's that texture. Same thing with the mouth, except this time this is all selected. 
I'm going to do a control C to copy this one because we're going to use the same exact texture for the mouth. Choose use nodes, delete on the keyboard, control V to paste, and that's good just like it is. Now the eyes and the brows, and I'm not sure what this is here. Visio. I think this is new. I haven't seen that one before. But we may have to see what that is. The, the eyes and brows I know are special. So we're going to have to do those a little bit different. So just choose the eye and use nodes. Go ahead and delete that one. And by the way, probably a good idea to save your zombie if you haven't done so already. I'm bad about not saying that, but I try to save and save often. Okay, so I'm going to paste in the node tree here that I've used in order to create the setup that we need here. And I'm just doing, going to do a control up arrow, make this full screen so you can see what we need to have here. Basically, you need to have your texture coordinates and two image textures. You need to have a transparent, which is if you do a shift A and go to your shaders, you can get transparent BSDF right there. Uh, same thing with your diffuse, glossy, and mix shaders. If you do a shift A, that's all under the shaders. Mix shader, glossy, and diffuse. So you want to add those in. And basically you want to plug all of this stuff in just like you see it here. Okay, and when you're plugging these in, also make sure you pay attention to the values like the roughness here. Those are both zero, so those are okay, but uh, you want to make sure that this is 0.5 on the factor and this transparent, transparent uh, BSDF is white here. And then for the image, I'm going to go ahead and open image and you want to go to your textures and just use that same uh, main texture that you have for your uh, character. And you're going to do that on both of these. Use the same texture. And control up arrow. So that's that one. And we need to go to the eyebrows. This is also a little bit different. So for that also you want to choose use nodes. Go ahead and delete those existing nodes. And I'm going to paste in my node tree on this one. And control up arrow full screen so you can see what it is. Basically we're just using the texture coordinate into this one. We have two image textures. The transparent again. This one's going into a diffuse. This is all going into a mix shader. Make sure that um, your uh, this color here is going into the fac factor on that, and this transparent is going into the shader, and then to the material output. And then the same thing for your textures. We want to open that and grab that main texture for both of these. And there you go. Okay, control up arrow. Get back here. And the zombie Invisio thing, I'm not quite sure what that is, but I know I've never I've never uh, plugged anything into that in the past, so I'm just going to leave it and hopefully we'll be okay. I, I don't think we need that. Anybody knows what that is, please comment, because I've, ne I've never really used that from the Make Human materials. Okay, so now that we have done all that, let's do a test render and see what we've come up with. All right, not bad. So we got our skin texture, we have our clothes texture, although I need to do a render of the jeans to make sure, but uh, looks like everything came out pretty good. Now, if you're seeing some strange strangeness here, like your eyes are not showing up correctly or your eyelashes are looking white and you have this big white eyebrow thing above here, uh, if you see any of that, the reasons are is because you didn't have the node tree plugged in correctly or done correctly. So you may want to review the nodes for the different, uh, the skin texture and especially the eyes and the brows. Those have to be exactly correct in order for this to, to work correctly. Now one last thing in this part of the tutorial is kind of bugging the heck out of me is these shirt, the shirt rips. They're kind of, you know, too squared, squared off jaggy. So um, we need to fix that. 
So in order to do that, I'm going to escape here. Make sure you select the shirt, and I'm going to go to Modifiers, and I'm going to choose Add Modifier, and I'm going to give it a Subdivision Surface Modifier, and we'll leave it on View 1 and Render 1. And let's go ahead and change the camera while we're doing this so I can see the jeans as well. So I'm going to choose Camera, and I'm just going to make it like 800 by 800 and by the way my um, my settings for the rendering right now I'm just rendering at 100 samples which is very low just because I'm just checking to make sure everything looks right I'm not really trying to get a good render right now and by the way under performance when you render in cycles probably want to set this to like 128 by 128 that's kind of optimal um, I think the default is something different, but I just found that 128 by 128 is pretty good. Okay, and I'm just going to grab this camera and G move it down a little bit. And G Z Z move it out a little bit so I can kind of see the whole zombie here. And let's do an F12, see what our render looks like. Okay, kind of funny, but as you can see, it's fixed up the shirt a little bit. It looks a lot better. And uh, I may even change this texture on the shirt because for some reason, and I don't know why, but I just picture this zombie in a flannel red shirt instead of just this plain red shirt. And as you can see, the jeans look really kind of weird here. So if you want to, you can just grab some of that uh, geometry there and pull it closer together so it doesn't look like his crotch is all squared off. So as you can see, our zombie is shaping up quite nicely, I think. And in the next part of this tutorial, what we're going to do is go into graphics program and we're going to start adding or changing actually the textures, the default textures that we have for Make Human and really start making this thing look like a nice, good zombie. So thanks for watching. Please comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.